Good day everyone, this is Teacher Cherry. In this video, we will learn about factoring polynomials. We will factor polynomials of the form x squared plus bx plus c, of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, and we will factor by grouping. Let's have factoring trinomials of the form x squared plus bx plus c. So, ito ay trinomial pero hindi siya perfect square trinomial. Paano mag-factor ng mga trinomials na hindi perfect square trinomial? So, let's have examples. Factor x squared plus 9x plus 18. So, meron tayong dalawang factors. So, yung una, kunin natin yung Factors ng x square. So, that is x times x is equal to x square. Paano natin malalaman yung second term? Isip tayo ng factors ng 18 na ang sum ay 9. So, ililista muna natin yung mga factors ng 18. So, kung positive to, ibig sabihin parehas na positive or parehas na negative. So, balit, Ito ay plus. So, ibig sabihin, parehas na positive. So, ano yung mga factors ng 18? 18 and 1, 9 and 2, and then 6 and 3. 18 times 1, 18. 9 times 2, 18. 6 times 3, 18. Parehas na positive kasi positive yung last term natin and positive din yung middle term. Pipili tayo dito sa nilista natin yung may sum na 9. So, 18 plus 1 is 19. 9 plus 2 is 11. 6 plus 3 is 9. Ibig sabihin, yung 6 and 3, ito yung nag-satisfy. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 plus 3 is 9. So, ito yung ilalagay natin dito. So, we have 6 and then we have 3. Therefore, the factors of x squared plus 9x plus 18 are x plus 6 and x plus 3. Let's have another example. a square minus 9ab plus 14b squared. So, yung factors nyo yung una, kunin natin yung square root ng a square. So, that is a times a. And then, kunin natin, ilista natin yung factors ng 14. So, since positive to and negative to, ibig sabihin parehas na negative yung factors natin. So, we have negative 14 and negative 1. Negative 7 and negative 2. Negative 14 times negative 1 is positive 14. Negative 7 times negative 2 is positive 14. Alin kaya dito yung magsasam ng negative 9? So, four, negative 14 plus negative 1 is negative 15. Negative 7 plus negative 2 is negative 9. Therefore, ang ilalagay natin dito is minus 7b and then minus 2b. So, bakit may b? Kasi meron tayong 14b square. So, we have a minus 7b and a minus 2b. Okay, let's have another example. x square minus 5x minus 6. So, ano yung mga factors niya? Una, yung factors ng x square that is x times x. And then, ilista natin yung factors ng negative 6. Ano kayo yung mga factors ng negative 6? So, kung mapapansin natin, negative to. Kung negative, ibig sabihin yung factors natin ay magkaiba. Negative at saka positive. Titignan natin yung sign ng middle term. Dahil negative yan, ibig sabihin yung mas mataas ang value, siya yung may negative. So, we have negative 6 and 1. And then, negative 3 and 2. So, dahil negative yung middle term, yung mas malaki yung, dahil negative yung middle term, mas malaki yung may negative. So, negative 6 and 1, negative 3 and 2. Pipiliin natin dito yung may sum na negative 5. So, we have negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. So, ibig sabihin, negative 6 and 1 yung ating factors. So, we have x minus 6 times x plus 1. Ito yung factors ng x squared minus 5x minus 6. 
Another example, we have a square plus 7a minus 18. What are the factors? So, una, kunin natin yung factors ng a square. That is a times a. And then, lista natin yung factors ng negative 18. So, dahil positive yung sign ng middle term, yung positive, yung merong sign ng positive ay mas mataas. So, ano yung factors ng 18? So, we have 18 and negative 1, 9 and negative 2, 6 and negative 3. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, yung mas mataas yung value, siya yung positive. Yung mas mababa ang value, siya yung negative. Okay, kunin natin yung sum. 18 plus negative 1 is 17. 9 plus negative 2 is 7. 6 plus negative 3 is 3. So, alin dyan ang may sum ng 7? That is 9 and negative 2. So, ito yung susulat natin. Plus 9 and then minus 2. Therefore, the factors of a square plus 7a minus 18 are a plus 9 and a minus 2. Okay, tandaan nyo lang yung pattern. Okay, let's have factoring trinomials of the form ax square plus bx plus c. So, ang a naman natin ngayon ay greater than 1. Paano ba mag-factor ng trinomials na ang a ay greater than 1? Let's have example. Factor 8x square minus 2x minus 15. So, yung a natin is 8, so greater than 1 siya. So, magkaiba yung proseso na ating gagamitin. So, una, ililista muna natin yung factors ng 8x square. Ito ay 4x and 2x, at saka 8x and x. 4x times 2x is 8x squared. 8x times x is 8x squared. And then, ililista naman natin yung mga factors ng negative 15. What are the factors? We have negative 15 and 1, 15 and negative 1, negative 5 and 3, and then 5 and negative 3. So, pag pinag-multiply mo yung mga yan, that is equal to negative 15. And then, ususulat natin yung combination nila, lahat ng combination. So, we have 4x here times 2x. And then, nilagay natin yung mga factors ng negative 15. Another, we have 8x here and then x. And then, isinulat din natin yung mga factors ng negative 15. So, magta-trial and error tayo. So, and then next, nagagawin natin, kukunin natin yung sum ng product ng outer terms at inner terms. Dapat ay mag-equal sa negative 2x. Okay, so, dito... Ang outer terms natin, 4x and 1, that is equal to 4x. Ang inner terms natin, negative 15 and 2x, the product is negative 30x. Then, 4x minus 30x is negative 26x. So, hindi equal sa negative 2x. So, ibig sabihin, hindi ito yung kanyang factors. Let's try the next one, 4x times negative 1. That is negative 4x. 15 times 2x, that is positive 30x. Negative 4x plus 30x is 26x. So, hindi pa rin siya equal. Try pa tayo ng iba. 4x times 3, that is 12x. Negative 5 times 2x, negative 10x. 12x minus 10x is 2x. So, iba pa rin. Negative 2x to. Ito naman ay positive 2x. Let's try the other one. 4x times negative 3, that is negative 12x. 5 times 2x, that is positive 10x. Negative 12x plus 10x, that is equal to negative 2x. So, dahil nag-equal sa negative 2x, ibig sabihin yung 4x plus 5 and 2x minus 3, ito yung kanyang Factor. So, dahil dumabas na yung negative 2x, hindi na natin ito gagamitin or isosolve. So, the factors of 8x square minus 2x minus 15 are 4x plus 5 and 2x minus 3. Okay, let's have another example. Factor 10x squared minus 27x plus 5. Ililista muna natin yung factors ng 10x squared, that is 5x and 2x, and then 10x and x. 5x times 2x is 10x squared, 
10x times x is 10x squared. And then, factors ng 5, pero dapat siya ay parehas na negative kasi negative ang sign natin dito. We have negative 5 and negative 1. And then, sulat natin lahat ng combination. So, we have 5x, 2x. So, negative 5 and negative 1. Negative 1 and negative 5. And then, we have 10x and then x. Negative 5, negative 1. Negative 1, negative 5. Kukunin natin yung product ng outer terms tsaka inner terms. Dapat ang mag-sum ay negative 27 x. Okay, unahin natin to. 5x times negative 1, that is negative 5x. Negative 5 times 2x, negative 10x. Negative 5x plus negative 10x is negative 15x. So, hindi yun yung lumabas. So, ibig sabihin, hindi ito yung factors. Let's try 5x minus 1 times 2x minus 5. 5x times negative 5 is negative 25x. Negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. Negative 27x minus 2x is negative 27x. Therefore, ang factors natin ay 5x minus 1 at 2x minus 5. Therefore, the factors of 10x squared minus 27x plus 5 are 5x minus 1 and 2x minus 5. Let's have factoring by grouping. So, for example, we have 15xy plus 10y minus 18x minus 12. So, meron na tayong apat na terms. So, ang unang gagawin natin, igugroup natin yung terms na merong common factor. So, we have 15xy minus 18x. So, parehas silang may common factor na x. And then, another group. 10y minus 12. So, meron silang common factor na 2. And then, ang next natin ay, if a factor natin yung greatest common monomial factor sa bawat group. So, dito sa group na to, ang kanyang greatest common factor ay 3x. So, 5 times 3, 6 times 3. So, ang greatest nila ay 3. And then, ang common factor na variable ay x. So, and then, divide natin itong binomial dito sa fac common factor. 15xy divided by 3x is 5y. Negative 18x divided by 3x is negative 6. Dito sa second group natin, ang kanyang common factor ay 2. So, di-divide natin, 10y divided by 2 is 5y. Negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6. Ang next natin, ifa-factor out natin yung common binomial factor. So, arin ba yung common binomial factor? So, pareha silang may 5y minus 6. So, isusulat natin as 5y minus 6. And then, yung natitirang factors, isusulat natin as sum or difference. So, 3x plus 2. Therefore, the factors of 15xy plus 10y minus 18x minus 12 are 5y minus 6 and 3x plus 2. Another example, 6x squared plus 3xy plus 2x plus y. So, sabi natin kanina, igugroup natin yung terms with common factor. Alin ba dyan ang merong common factor? So, we have 6x squared plus 2x and then 3xy plus y. Then, if a factor out natin yung greatest common monomial factor sa bawat grupo. So, 6x squared and 2x, ang common nila is 2x. So, 6x squared divided by 2x is 3x. 2x divided by 2x is 1. And then, ano yung common factor dito? So, ang common factor nila is y. 3xy divided by y is 3x. y divided by y is 1. And then, Isusulat natin yung common factor sa bawat grupo. So, we have 3x plus 1. And then, isusulat natin as sum or difference yung natira, 2x plus y. Therefore, the factors of 6x squared plus 3xy plus 2x plus y are 3x plus 1 and 2x plus y. Okay, that's how we factor polynomials by grouping. 
Okay, that's the end of our tutorial. Before I end this video, I would like to say a simple quotation. Keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground. That is by Theodore Roosevelt. Thank you so much. Keep safe and have a great day.